Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Nanam Paramam Dheyam. Knowledge is supreme. So now here also the immediately correlate immediate corollary to this is if I have a prime ideal P in a any any ring an Euthyrian A Noetherian then height of P is fi finite because this P will be generated by some element and then we apply the uh, Kroon's uh, generalized theorem to this P. So, P uh, height P will be less equal to the number of generators. So, actually height of P will be less equal to mu of P that is we have noted last time now. So, therefore, in particular dimension of a local ring is finite. So, in particular dimension of a local ring which is height of p no in general actually dimension of a local ring a local a local this is finite see dimension theorem guaranteed this and because it's a degree of the hilbert samuel polynomial etc so okay if you notice I wanted to write a proof in the exercises that um, remember um, the in the normalization lemma we proved that um, a finite type uh, algebra over a field is integral over uh, polynomial algebra and that that the number of variables is therefore the dimension right. Uh, so, for a finite type algebra I wanted to prove that the polynomial the, uh, the sum I wanted to prove that the I wanted to have analog of the Hilbert Samuel polynomial for, for, for finite type algebra. So, A is finite type over a field. over a field okay. and we somehow know not by using dimension theorem we somehow know that the dimension of this finite type algebra A equal to the number of variables which appear in the Noether's normalization lemma. So, this so D which appears in NNL. But this I wanted to also sh show it by using the uh, proof similar to Hilbert Samuel polynomial and I wanted to cook up some polynomial, polynomial function with rational coefficients whose degree is related to this d, d or d minus 1 in. So, that will match with the dimension theorem right. So, but you remember that to define that polynomial I had to have I have to have a graded module and graded rings and so on. So, finite type algebra is just uh, A is just k x 1 to x n modulo some ideal and this ideal may not be homogeneous ideal or uh, uh, anything. So, what I wanted was uh, suppose this small x i are the images of capital X i in this residue class ring. Then from such a I define I want to define a polynomial function. I want to define some a numerical function and check that numerical function is a polynomial function and that d I wanted to check this d. 
right. So, first of all there are too many hurdles, number one hurdle is uh, some these generators may it depend that polynomial function which I will define will depend on the generating set. So, somebody may have different algebra generators of this and 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 then the polynomial corresponding to that as I if you have read that it is not unique, the polynomial is not unique, but what is unique is the degree is unique. So, that is what I wanted to you know, do it more carefully and maybe on the way your difficulty will disappear. Okay. So, the polynomial what I wanted to define here was, so this also I will do it precisely today in the exercises. So, so that will uh, tie get tied up with uh, many other things. Okay. So, uh, another thing now today I just wanted to mention that uh, if I have a, a ring homomorphism from A to B, then we have a, uh, uh, a map from spec B to spec A. namely any prime ideal q in b you contract it to a right and and so contraction of a prime ideal is prime ideal but uh, this will not map in general uh, maximal ideals to maximal ideals because contraction of a maximal ideal need not be maximal ideal but that we know it for if you assume further a and b where finite type algebras but in general we may not have that so and also i guess you know what is the topology on spectrum right so so consider this now as a topological spaces with zariski topologies so this is a topological space this is a topological space then i want to check that this map is actually continuous so, then uh, this map is continuous in the risky topology. Do you already know that or uh, shall I check it? Okay. So, how do you check some map is continuous? inverse image of an open set is open or inverse image of a closed set is closed and so on. So, that means we want to check. So, let us give some names to this. So, this is phi then usually this is called phi star. So, the and a closed set we know closed set is typically of this form V of A where A is an ideal in A. So, when I want to pull it back under this, so phi star inverse of this, and what will it be? V, so you you need to prove it is closed set, right? So V or somebody, but that should be an ideal. So who is the likely candidate? A you take this ideal A and extend it to B, so A times B. Either check this, this is this is easy to check because you can take one element here and check it is here and, and the other way also because um, if 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 somebody contains here that means somebody contains q q ideal prime ideal q if it contains a times b then contraction of q will contain definitely a. So that means contraction will belong to this image. So, that means phi star of q will belong to V a and conversely also similar or I wanted to also um, um, uh, remind you that uh, to check some map is continuous you can do little bit economically better uh, because uh, you only have to check that the basic open sets are uh, the inverse image of the basic open sets are again open. And basic open set, you know, what is the basis of the topology? So, 
so this word is not in uh, not like what we use in linear algebra or uh, algebra but this basis means similar to that that means any open set or you think of it is a collection which is a collection of open set so that intersection of any two members of that collection will contain somebody like that then it is called a basis or equivalently any open set will be union of this collection so there is a nice basis for the risky topology so the what is the basis do you know so basis for a risky topology on spectrum of a so that is you take any f in a and look at d of d of f this is by definition you need open so take the complement of v of f v of f is same as v of ideal generated by f so this is definitely open and any any open set will definitely contain this because any open set is of the form complement of v of a but a will contain some element and that so it's it's clear that this is a basis and uh, so it is see this is also directly you can define this is all those prime ideals p in a such that f is not in p so one problem normally uh, at the uh, uh, the beginners beginner beginning beginners level one normally uh, come across is the notation and uh, one remedy for that notation is so uh, uh, when you want to do algebra think of prime ideals so think of spec the same thing you algebra i will use the notation p right because that will also and when you want to do topology geometry etc instead of this you write x topological space and instead of this you write small x a point and then this p and this x there is a one to one correspondence right the same x you are denoting in this notation by p and the same p in this notation you are denoting by x so this you should also keep in mind this is px right now what happens now we have this ring a we have a mod px now this is integral domain so it has a quotient field so that quotient field in algebra notation is this right that i want to denote by um, there is no field anywhere this is a field so that field i want to denote by kappa x it only depends on x and so when you think of a topological space and x this is a field attached to that point it's called a residue field at that point and there is a natural map here there is a natural inclusion here right now let's check where do f go here if i have an element f here where does it go it goes to f bar the residue class of f in a by px so that is f bar and this f bar goes this is natural inclusion so it will keep going to f bar this f bar i want to denote by f of x this is just a notation but now see the magic so when will this f belong to px so let us write down that when f belong to p p means px if and only if this is zero if and only if that is zero so that means f of x is zero so this is you get a feeling like evaluation at a point and zero of f and so on so this is very very handy 
especially when you want to check this is a topology right suppose you want to check let us check one 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 equality already so that you will feel uh, is at this so tell me one property that uh, v of a intersection v of b is equal to v of a plus b and v of a b equal to v of a union v of b so let us check this for uh, second first for example so that means i want to check that let us take x in x now i want to check that x belong here if and only if it belongs here so we will prove that x belong to lhs if and only if x belong to rhs so x belong here means what that means the prime ideal contains uh, a times b that means if you take all products that will vanish at that x so this is f times g at x is zero for all f and g in no, for all f in a and g in b but you see this this evaluation map this is a ring homomorphism so whether i product and evaluate or evaluate and product that is the same operation so this is same as fx times gx but f and fx and gx are elements in the field so that will imply fx is zero or gx is zero and and therefore so this is usually how this is a quickest way to prove it okay and this notation is due to grothendieck okay so uh, uh, this means uh, we have here category of rings that do you know what is the category so that means it's a collection of objects a category of category means it's a collection of objects Uh, the objects could be sets groups rings vector spaces uh, algebras algebras over a fixed uh, ring or topological spaces or differentiable manifolds or any 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 subject you are studying those are the objects and the morphisms are the corresponding homomorphisms like if you are studying groups then group homomorphism if you are studying ring then ring homomorphisms if you are studying Uh, differentiable manifold then the differentiable maps if you are studying lie group then the uh, lie group homomorphisms and so on so that together form a category if it satisfy uh, certain rules like uh, respecting composition and and so on and so on right so uh, category of rings on one side actually commutative rings we should say and category of topological spaces and we have a functor functor means each object is associated to an object in such a way that if there is a morphism here there is a morphism there and so on so that data is a functor and the functor is the is called equivalence if it's like the there is a other way direction also functor and so that each compo each composition is identity and so on so they are suitable definition but that is just uh, language and here we have a functor namely the spec given a ring we have attached a topological space to that
and what one wants to do is one wants to study one wants to get information about the rings by using the topology information and one would like to actually come back also that means this is a natural equivalence so that means from this given topological space one wants to cover recover the your ring also and this this interplay is precisely the what is called abstract algebraic geometry okay so this uh, this actually is not quite correct because what happens we have to put some restrictions and put some correct definitions for example if if you take say very simple example kx mod ideal generated by x square then what is the spectrum then spec of this is only one ideal right namely ideal generated by that small x where small x is in the image of capital x see such problems will also come with the notation conflicting so one has to use the variable capital t and small t and so on anyway so this is an artinian ring with only one uh, maximal ideal and if i if i would have taken field then also there is only one point namely the zero ideal and the topology is clear this is a discrete topology so how are you going to recover or you get recover this or this so there is it's not quite correct you will have to assume the ring is reduced then whether you can recover or not so it's so all this so whenever i have more and more time i will keep adding this comments with respect to the zariski topology and the category of rings